Hey awesome people, I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday afternoon and I just, I feel really, really passionate about this particular topic and uh, just really wanted to jump in and do a live on it because I think it's something that as humans we can definitely get caught up on and it really can keep us stuck if we're telling ourselves that we're broken and that we need to be fixed. And so this really can be such a huge challenge. Hey, great to have you guys on here. So please say hi if you're on here. And um, of course, I love love hearts as well. So that would be super. But um, I, I really am on here to do a, a, a quick rant, uh, definitely on this paradigm that people are fragile and people need to be fixed. Uh, and I really, really want to drive this point home because I think so often we can hypnotize and talk ourselves into this broken model that I'm broken and somehow I need to be fixed, which can keep us stuck. Hey, Clarissa, great to have you on. Hey, Beryl, uh, can keep us stuck for so long trapped in these positions of feeling powerless, feeling like we can't make the changes that we need to, or feeling like there's something outside of ourself that needs to fix us in order for us to be okay. And I really want to just break that down a little bit. Hey Trudy, great to have you on. Hey Joe, great to have you on too. I really want to break this down a little bit more because it, uh, like I said, it really does impact a lot of areas of life and I know I definitely felt like that at one point in time where I need to be fixed, I need to be healed, uh, I've got all this stuff going on and it really um, can keep us focused on the problem for so long that we're actually just recreating the same situation over and over and over again. So uh, that really, hey Martha, great to have you on, uh, can really be very, very challenging for people that really do want to make changes. Now why do we not make changes? Quite simply and easily, there can be definitely a side benefit to staying the same. And if you desperately want to make changes but you find that you're not, there will definitely be a benefit of some sort, whether it's hard or easy to recognize. Uh, that could be extra sympathy, it could be um, getting love and connection in a way that doesn't always feel great but it's a way that it feels like you know you might be able to get it in there somehow uh, from other people or through self-pity through yourself. I definitely can put both hands up for that and uh, it really uh, like I said, exploring, you know, why would I choose to stay this way or why would I choose, if I say that this is what I want, but I'm actually not taking action around that, what is the side benefit that I'm currently getting from actually staying the same way? Hey Nick, hey Dimity, great to have you guys on here. Uh, so if this is really resonating, please give me some love um, because, and if you've got any questions around it too, more than happy to answer that. Hey Heather, great to have you on. Hey Chrissy. Uh, so, Definitely, in with this particular paradigm, we really want to flip it on its head. If you were already healed, if you were broken in the first place, what is it that you'd be doing? What would be different for you right now, right in this very instant? How would you be treating yourself? How would you be living your life? What choices would you be making? Because this is the place that will give you power to be able to step forward and create a future that you're wanting. And I had the most beautiful, extraordinary meeting uh, with some people that are changing uh, lives you know, in a very, very powerful way. And we spoke a lot about uh, the, the different mindsets that can really happen in terms of reaching out for help or whether that's coaching or counseling or something else. And, um, and sometimes, you know, it can kind of feel like, oh, there's something wrong with me. That's why I need help. No. Oh my God, we're human. We have got so many different emotions. We've got so much stuff going on. And all that's happening is if this isn't working, hey, Dina, great to have you on. If if your life is not working, it's like learning maths. We don't know some things and that is completely okay. So why not reach out to somebody that has had more success in that particular area or is more knowledgeable in that particular area? It doesn't mean that something is wrong with us or that we're broken or that we need to be fixed. And so the most successful people on the planet enlist in in coaching whether that's you know tennis coaching golf um, you know getting golf tutoring or golf coaching uh, whether that's business coaching whether that's like the top AFL teams they've all got amazing amazing coaches 
giving them the finer distinction, giving them the t finer little tweaks around successful thinking or around successful mindset or around successful strategy. Hey Jan, hey Paul, great to have you on here. So this is what I'm really, really passionate about is flipping this whole paradigm that, hey, something's wrong with me and that's why I need coaching or that's why I need counseling or anything else. There are strategies for everything that we do in life and if your life is not working in a particular area, it doesn't mean you're broken. It doesn't mean that you need fixing. It's just that strategy is not working and wouldn't it be cool to enlist the help of somebody that could really help you think differently or find a different strategy that will actually get you the results that you're wanting in any area of life uh, and that may be you know reaching out to me as an intuitive coach or it may be uh, reaching out to somebody else that you know that is an expert in that particular area that's great uh, Trudy I'm pleased that, um, that that that's been really helpful for you and and look I know I've been definitely caught in victim mindset in the past and it does not help empower you it does not help you make the re uh, the choices and to take full responsibility for where you're at right now and if you actually come from that state, like I said before, if you already believe that you were fully healed, that you were fully whole, complete, perfect, exactly as you are, how would you be living life today? Because that is the mindset, that is the inner state that will help to create the emotions, that will help to really make amazing choices in your life to be able to take you forward in a different way. So I hope that's been powerful for you. I have gone on a bit of a rant uh, because I was just sitting here thinking about it and and uh, I, I do think so often we can get caught in that and it really will just keep that same cycle um, perpetuating over and over and over again so the more that we can step into that inner state I am whole I am complete if I was already living this amazing kick-ass life or however I want to be living uh, what is it that I would be doing what would be the choices that I'd be making how would I be communicating not only to myself in my own mind but to other people People. And if you're struggling around mindset or um, struggle is probably the wrong word, but if you find that, you know, you're not being resourceful in that particular way, put your hand up, sing out, PM me, uh, let's have a chat and we can go from there and definitely, um, <laughs> thanks Beryl, <laughs> love the claps, uh, we can definitely... Um, see whether we're a good fit to work towards um, a, a particular goal for you or, um, or being able to move forward in a particular way. So have an amazing rest of your day. Remember you are whole, you are complete, you are so loved and, uh, and go forth and have fun. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys.